Welcome to the very first 20 minute spark workout. I have Allison again here today. Allison is going to be performing five different exercises. They're going to be metabolically challenging. She's going to move from one exercise to the next. Five exercises, four rounds, real simple. And we're going to begin. And we're going to begin in five, four, three, two, one and starting good allison is doing a lunge row alternating legs for one solid minute each round one solid minute the first move is going to be a lunge row allison stepping forward a nice giant step she's bending her back knee she's rowing that weight up and down it's a one giant compound movement working all the major muscle groups one solid minute following this she's going to do push-ups with a row at the bottom followed by a squat with a shoulder press, a squat with a bicep curl, and then a burpee with a jump at the top. All compound movements, metabolically challenging, keeping our heart rate up, going hot, going heavy, lots of burning, lots of heat and heaviness, breathlessness, all to get a real good neurotransmitter response from the brain, only 20 minutes. There's no excuse for not doing a 20 minute workout. Six five, four, three, two, one. Allison is going to go right into that push up. She's pushing up and she's rowing, working those back muscles. That's the way to work, Allison. Excellent. Push up. Now, this is probably more tricep challenging. If Allison were to bring those weights lighter, uh, wider, which she'll do on the next round, she'll work a little bit more chest, a little bit more shoulder. So come a little bit wider with those weights, Allison. There we go. See your elbows are moving out, working more chest. That's the way to work. Now you're working and resting. 30 seconds, 29 seconds left here. And you're building your own rest time in. 24 seconds, 23. That's the way to work. Allison is keeping a nice straight back. She's not arching. She's not sticking her hips too high up in the air. Very neutral on the toes. If you want to modify, Allison, I'm going to ask you to modify and come to your knees and show how to modify this round. Good, and excellent pushing up on the toes. So if you want need to modify this move, please do two and one. Excellent, Allison, standing up. She's going to squat with a shoulder press. So she's bringing the weight up to the top. She's bringing the weight up onto her shoulders, bringing the weight down, and then popping that weight up. Excellent, good. Now Allison is very conditioned, so she's really able to sit deep into those squats. She's moving a little past 90 degrees with her knees. That's fine if you could do that. If not, do what you can do. Feel free to modify, go lighter with weight, go heavier with weight. So she's simply moving through five rounds. That's the way to rest, Allison. Excellent, you build your own rest time in. Excellent, that's the way to work, that's the way to rest. There's no shame in resting. If you're not resting, you're not working hard enough. You need to go heavier with weight. We love rest here. 15 seconds, 14, 13, excellent, Allison, 10, 11, there we go, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, that's the way to rest. Allison is going to move right into a squat with a bicep curl and then a stand. Working all compound movements. This is one giant compound movement, this workout. Excellent. Her feet, her heels are glued into the floor. She's resting at the top if she needs to. You could do a hammer curl. You could do a concentration curl for your biceps. Excellent. 40 seconds left here. 39. That's it. That's the way to count down. Excellent, Allison. Squatting and curling. Feel free to go heavier, go lighter, take breaks, take a sip of water. There's no excuse not to just get find 20 minutes in your day where you could just do some body weight movements. We're really looking for a little brain chemistry response from these workouts. 15 seconds, 14, 13, 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, excellent. Allison is then going into the last move, which is a burpee with dumbbells. She's hopping and she's hopping at the top. That's it, one solid minute. Now, after this move, she'll simply start back at the beginning. And without breaks, we're just going to do 20 minutes. So it's five exercises, five minutes for each round equals 20. You're going to work your own rest in. I know that's a, a very difficult for people to comprehend. What do, you, what do you mean rest? I, don't I have to 
go hard or go heavy or go home? Absolutely not. We just do what we can. We're moving. That's what's important here. With weights. Excellent. 25 seconds. 24. 23. 21. That's the way to work. 20 seconds. 19. That's the way to work, Allison. Excellent. That's the way to rest. We love rest. Rest is good. Hopping back and then hopping at the top. Excellent. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Excellent. Now, Allison's simply going to either start or take a break, but she's just going to start back at the top. This is her second round. She's lunging. She's rowing up, rowing down, and standing, alternating her leg. She's bringing that upper body right down to the top of that forward leg. Her back knee is bent. She's pinching her elbows up as if they're meeting at the back. 40 seconds, 39. These are metabolic workouts. These are not isolating movements. These are compound movements. So we're really looking for a brain chemistry response from this workout. This will lean you out. When people talk about that nice, tight, and tone look, this is what we're doing. It's all compound movements, back muscles, leg muscles, hip, glute. Excellent. Everything. Auxiliary muscles, which are the secondary muscles, are working here. 13 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. That's the way to rest. Take that rest. Take that water. And we're simply moving through these rounds, working all major body parts. So notice I really haven't missed anything. I'm working, we're working legs, we're working chest, back, biceps, triceps, shoulders. Excellent, Allison. She's got starting right back into her push-up. So the next move is your push-up with a row. Excellent. So feel free, free to break, feel free to modify here. And Allison's very conditioned, so she's able to stay up on her toes. She's not sticking her hips up too high. She's not arching her lower back. So this has a lot to do with safety. If your back is too arched, it's sore, you just drop to the knees. That's the way to work. And rowing on the knees, that's one way to modify. You could push up, do a regular push up. You could row up at the top. Good. You could drop to your knees with the push-up. Now, here's a modified. Come up to your toes, Allison, and then row here. You could do it that way, where you just simply drop to your knees and jump back up to the toes and row. Excellent. Modify when needed. Okay, uh, next, next move, Allison's going to step up. She's going into her squat shoulder press. So take a rest or go right into that squat with a shoulder press. Excellent. Good. That's the way to work. This workout will go by very quickly. You'll see, it's just 20 minutes. I could basically start dinner, throw in a lo load of laundry, make some phone calls, and before you know it, I'm like 20 minutes has passed. Or you could do this workout. That's the way to rest, Allison, excellent. We love rest. If you're not resting, you're not working hard enough. We love heavy weights with more rest versus just repping it out. That's the way to push those shoulders. That's the way to make those shoulders burn. Lots of compound movements. That's the way to rest. Excellent. Those arms get mighty tired. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Excellent. Going into that next move is a squat with a bicep curl. That's the way to work. Squatting and curling at the bottom. Squat and curl. Excellent. Nice and heavy. Heavy, heavy weights with lots of rest. Excellent, Allison. That's the way to work hard. 36 seconds. 30, 35. Excellent. Doing a nice countdown. Resting when need to. So right from this, Allison's then going to go into a burpee with a dumbbell and a jumping at the top, and then she'll have completed two rounds. 22 seconds. 20. Excellent, Allison. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. That's the way to get those heels into the ground. 5, 4, 3. That's the way to work. Right back into that. She's going to take a nice break, but feel free to go right into that uh, dumbbell burpee with a little hop at the top, taking your time. Little hop, that's the way to work. Excellent. Good, Allison. 
42, 40, 40 seconds. That's the way to work. 35 seconds. Excellent, Allison. 30 seconds. Beautiful. That's the way to work hard. Beautiful. Good. 20 seconds. 17. Good. That's the way to work, Allison. Good. 15. 14. This is all good. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. Beautiful. 2 and 1. Excellent, Allison. Next round. So, we're going to go right into our next round. So, we have two more rounds. Beautiful. And she's going to go right back to that lunge with a row at the bottom. Lunging and rowing, alternating her feet. That's the way to work. That's the way to get that chest to that leg. Excellent. Bringing those weights almost to the floor. Lots of back muscle here. Good. Taking a breather at the top if you need to. Good. Just keeping really good form. If your form starts to get sloppy, maybe you need to take rest or go with a lighter weight. Just the, the form is the most important thing, being safe and injury free. No sense in injury. Good, taking your time. 22 seconds, that's the way to work. So this is when we our bodies start to get a little fatigued. Some people feel more energized at this point. Some people feel a little bit more fatigued. Everyone's so metabolically different. So you have to look at your own individual meta metabolism. How well are you working? Six, five, four, three, two excellent allison good now we're going right into that push up that's the way to work push up with a row now staying on the balls of your feet or modifying that's the way to row that weight up so you can work these 20 minute workouts as best as you can into your day if, if the morning on an empty stomach works for you, that's great. If you do these workouts on an empty stomach and you simply feel wiped out for the rest of the day, then maybe you're the type that needs a little food in you, a little breakfast, lots of protein, lots of vegetables, lots of protein-vegetable combinations. Carbohydrates work best first thing in the morning and after a workout. So if you do this workout and you feel a little carb depleted, maybe put some frozen blueberries in your almond milk protein powder shake. Excellent. There's, there we go. That's the way to work. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Beautiful, Allison. When Allison's ready, she's going to go into that shot, uh, squat with a shoulder press. Squat with a shoulder press. That's the way to work. Sitting nice and deep, throwing that weight up at the top, using a little momentum. Now, depending on... Uh, you, how advanced you are you can keep the weights up but that could be a little compromising to the lower back i like safety i like rest i love rest that's the way to work that's the way to rest allison 35 seconds good she's got the b's and the h's going on breathlessness burning heat and it's getting heavy that's exactly what we want to feel 24 23 22 seconds excellent 20 seconds that's the way to work good that's the way to rest love rest Beautiful. Nice breaks. Staying nice and hydrated. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and right into that squat with a bicep curl. All right, squat and bicep curl. Beautiful. Excellent. Squat with a bicep curl. Her heels are glued into the floor. That's the way to work, Allison. Beautiful. 47 46 seconds that's the way to work we're coming up on round three and the last round is always the fat uh, the, the best it's fun that's where we take lots of rest excellent 30 seconds left of this move resting at the top keeping those heels glued into the ground this is all good keep a nice form form is most important to me not a lot of swing. She's really focused on isolating, keeping a nice, tall, proud chest. Shoulders are back, a little arch in the lower back. Sitting through the heels, watching those knees. She's not buckling her heels or her knees. That's the way to rest. We love rest. 
No shame in resting. Resting is all good. And they're right into her last move with their burpee. Jumping, uh, jumping in, jumping out. A little hop at the top. This is getting that heart rate elevated. This burpee is working all those compound movements. It's working her legs. It's working her chest. It's working her shoulders. Excellent. Good. Her glutes, her back, everything's engaged. So we're pulling it all together. 36 seconds. 35. That's the way to work. Working hard. 30 seconds. 29. 28. Good. That's the way to work, Allison. 22. Beautiful. Getting that heat and the heaviness, breathless and burning going on. 16 seconds. 15. 13 seconds. 12. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. Excellent. Last round. This is the best part. The last round. One round left. Starting with those lunges, row, alternating legs. I love the last round. This workout goes by very quickly. Rowing it up, rowing down, stepping back. Good. Nice form again, getting that chest close to the leg. Feels like her elbows are pinching in the back. And remember, this, these workouts are, are slightly different than isolating just back or doing three sets of back exercises. We're not isolating muscle groups. We're really working on more of a metabolic type workout we're not isolating it's basically more about getting that brain chemistry going getting the neurotransmitters the dopamine firing up this these these workouts should energize your day they shouldn't rob you of energy eight seven six five four three two excellent allison's going to start with that push-up row taking rest where needed so depending upon where you need most of your energy during the day, if you do this workout sometimes too late in the day, sometimes you may not be able to get to sleep at night because you may be so stimulated. So watch where you do these workouts. Everyone, again, is so metabolically different. We do the workouts where we need most of our energy. I like doing these early afternoon. It kind of helps me get through into the evening. And by bedtime, I'm ready to... Hit the pillow and I go right to sleep. That's the way to modify that push up with the row. There you go. That's the way to modify Allison. She has 20 seconds 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. That's the way to work. Last time for these push ups. We love that last round of push ups. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Excellent. Allison's simply going to squat with a bicep curl. She's taking her much-needed rest, though. This is all good. This la last round, you could rest through it. You could just power through it. We love rest, though. So if you need to modify at, the, the, at this point, you can simply just bicep curl without the squat, or you can squat. Or Actually, this one is a shoulder press. So I correct myself. You could simply just press at the shoulders, take more rest. Simply do a squat movement, keep the shoulders at the shoulder, and just simply squat up and down without the press. But if you can power through, I recommend powering through. That's the way to modify that workout. Excellent. 20 seconds, 19, 18. Notice how I started to do a countdown? She started throwing that weight right back up there. And that's the point of resting with countdowns. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Excellent, Allison. Good.
24. This is all good. 20 seconds. 19, 18, 16, 15. Look how hard she's working. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and done. Excellent. Remember to get your cool down in. Uh, feel free to stretch. Go for a nice long walk. Allison mentioned she's getting a massage later. I'm sure she's excited about that. Get your restorative work in. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.